Right, so this is a music video that I saw. Well, I've actually saw them many times. Um, it's just full of over-sexualization. That's what it is. It's the agenda of promoting women as an object. That's what it is. That's what it is. This whole entire music, music video is promoting women as a sexual object. That's what it is. As I've exposed before, the, the, the so-called rap industry is nothing but fake. It's nothing but entertainment. And even the so-called rapper 6 9 admits that he was playing a character. Even g Easy admits that rap is just entertainment. So it's not real. It's not real. They're playing a character. I said this from day one. No rappers are no rappers are living that life. It's all fake. It's an agenda. And I, I had to censor a lot of it. And this is the funny thing. This is honestly the funny thing. I'll get into it. I've had to censor a lot of it because again, if it didn't, my video would be age restricted. Funny, isn't it? Yet yeah, these celebrities and these people can make rap songs with girls twerking, girls half naked, even there's music videos with women full blown naked showing everything and that's not age restricted and that's not taken down. Funny isn't it? Be this is what I said about YouTube. They break their own rules. They're hi it's a hypocritical stubble standards. There's basically if I was to upload something with which I never would, or to upload something with nudity, it'd be taken down in fact, less than five minutes. But somehow, these people, they can do whatever they want. You want to know why it is that they can do whatever they want? Because they sold the soul. The, the law doesn't apply to sellouts like this. Freemasons take an oath that they protect one another. That's what it's really about. But straight away, uh, I didn't show the first image. The first image is basically a woman, basically in a bikini, basically twerking and dancing. Funny, isn't it? Yeah, as I said, the double standards. If I was to upload something like this, video would be age restricted and flagged down. Pathetic, isn't it? It's time you sign people wake up to the reality of this world and what's really going on yeah but again people just want to sh don't want to say anything because again they they just don't want to say anything but again here we go with the over sexualization this is pure nonsense the, this these this is what i've been saying for years this is what they promote this is exactly what they promote they over sexualize women they promote the women all oh, women are um I'm not even going to say the word. They promote that all women are a certain way, that all women are the same. It's just all nonsense and trash. It's stereotype garbage. And you see, it's just sexualized straight away. She, they, they simulate, we all know what this simulates. Um, the music video is that I suppose once. Nicki Minaj, um, I think hard, it was called hard, some of them, and she was in a bath full of milk, it, it's a sexual thing, that's what it is, it's sexual, it, sim, it simulates semen, that's what it simulates, sperm, that's exactly what it simulates, that's what this simulates, this over-sexualized song, the whole entire song, it, the, the whole entire lyrics of the song is sex, over sexualization see all this song is designed for you to do is to lost that's what it is that's what it is to lost pornography is a big industry big industry it's an absolute big industry that's exactly what it is and it's just a fact but again i even had to censor this because again over sexualization milk all over us simulates sperm it's basically just a porno music video, that's all it is. It's a porno music video, and those tattoos look so so fake. They seem to look more newer 
each time you see each time you see this person because again like it said playing a character these tattoos really don't even look real they don't look real probably ain't again over sexualization again the milk all over her simulates semen sperm again there we go again Again, anyone that's seen pornography knows what this this represents. That's what it represents. Anyone that's seen pornography knows exactly what this represents. I'm not going to say what it is. You should know what it is. What it represents. What's in porn. It's what it represents. All, all over her. Sexual, sexualization, nothing but trash. And again, most of these women ain't proper women anyway. They got fake, fake eyelashes on, plastic surgery, fake breast, fake, fake backside, Botox. So fake. They're not real women. They're not real women. A real woman doesn't go out and get plastic surgery. And that, that's what they're selling as well. They sell that in the industry as well. That's why so many women are going out and doing it and getting plastic surgery. Oh, I'm not like a supermodel, so I'm going to go out and get plastic surgery. It's all the agenda to sell plastic surgery. And again, I had to center it again. Over-sexualization. This simulates sex again. This is what it simulates. Well, if you can't see it, like I said, you need to wake up to reality because it, it simulates sexual references. The whole song is about sex. So what do you think the milk simulates? Again, throwing up the devil horns and laughing because he's playing a character. He's playing a complete character. That's what he is. He's playing a character. He's trolling. He's trolling. You really think, like I said, this guy got out of prison um, the reason he got out of prison so early, people say, oh, it's because he snitched. No, it isn't. It's because he's a Freemason. He's a puppet. He's a puppet of the elite. That's why he got out of prison so early. Because he sold his soul. And most of the stuff that he talks about, it's true. Basically, people buy fake views to get on the billboards and get more views. But this guy basically most likely does the same thing. This is what goes on in the industry. This is it's the same with YouTubers. They buy fake views and fake subscribers. Same with same with celebrities. They do the same. This is uh, that's why you have basically someone someone that basically has hundred million subs can barely even get one one gets about one million on a, a video of you. Doesn't make sense. Really doesn't. It's fake. Again, throwing at the devil hands, laughing at you. Because he, he, he's, he's trolling you. He's trolling you. That's what it is. He's not even a gangster. He isn't a gangster. This guy's not a gangster. He's trolling you. He's playing a character. Same as every, every other rapper is. They're all part of her agenda. What is the agenda of the Illuminati to destroy families? That was one of their agenda. How did they destroy families? By promoting pornography, free pornography, destroying people's lives. Making people lust after other women. Other women. Again, there we go with the devil horns. I had to cut the rest of it out. Because again, over sexualization. There we go again. Throwing up the devil horns and over sexualization again. That's all you see through this whole entire music video. This whole entire music video, this is all you see. Nothing but garbage. Again, the devil horns. Right there. So, over sexualization, that's what it is. And what you need to understand as well. Most of these chains that they say are billions and billions of dollars is nonsense. It's nonsense. Basically, that chain that he's got, there's basically the same one 
for basically cheaper. But again, you know, you know mo most of them are fake. They wear fake chains. Most of them, most rappers have been caught wearing fake chains. You know, they say they say it's real. It's all script. It's fake lifestyle. There is no gangster real G lifestyle. Tell me what real G lifestyle you live in when you're thrown in prison for the rest of your life and the the elite are sick and, sitting back and laughing going, ha ha, there's another clown that fell for our agenda again. They're laughing at you because there ain't no gangster lifestyle. There is no real G lifestyle. It's trash. Again, more nonsense. And again, these women are so fake. Plastic surgery all over the place. Plastic, plastic backside. And this is how he really thinks of you. He's a troll. That's what he is. He's a troll. He's a straight or troll. That's exactly what he is. He's a troll. He's trolling you. This is what he really thinks of you as well. And again, sticking out the tongue, we all know what that represents. False religion again. Caliph, the so-called God that the Hindus believe in. Caliph, that's what it's called, the all mocking tongue. And again, uh, again, I have to bring this up. This is how they want you to treat women. See how we, this is, this is the new thing. It's in pornography as well. Oh, um, choking a woman while having sex is erotic or it's just messed up. It really is. But this is how these people portray how you should treat women. This is how they portray you should treat women and you should treat your wife. Then again, I have to bring this up and you got to laugh at it, man. Maybe this guy reads the Bible. This statement's going to annoy a lot of people, but I don't give a damn. Maybe he reads the Bible. Maybe he reads it. I mean, it, I mean the Bible promotes that you should beat your wife and that you should domestic violence your wife if she steps out of line. Maybe he reads the Bible. I mean, because... So it seems to be doing the same thing that's in that. And we all know that's nonsense anyway. Nobody should f be following religion. It's all trash. But again, maybe he follows the Bible. Maybe he does. He fo follows it. I mean, because that's what's in the Bible as well. People say, oh, well, certain people don't have morals. Well, again, the Bible doesn't have very good morals. Let's be real now. There's no good morals. It says that you can beat your wife. You can beat your wife if she steps out of line. That's exactly what these people promote. It's what they promote. So that's why I had to bring that up. Maybe you got this from the Bible. Maybe you read, it, read the Bible. So again, this is how they want you to treat women. This is exactly how they want you to treat women. To basically domestic violence women and see women as a sexual object. Again, the Bible also does that as well. It says that um, that women are nothing but sexual object. That's what the Bible teaches because, again, it's trash. And that's why I said that's probably where they get most of this stuff from. And again, there you go. And yes, there are some women that um, get off on this. Those women, there's no words to describe. They're not even worth worth even mentioning. Any woman that gets off on being choked, you're not right in the head. You're really not. You're not right in the head. There's something wrong with you. And there we go again. Devil horns. Devil horns again. And the over-sexualization again, twerking. Because again, promote that women are a sexual object. That's all the agenda is. There we go again, throwing the devil horns up. Because he's a troll. This is his own trolls, yeah. Because he is a troll. There we go with the devil horns again. Devil horns again. 
And I just said that what I said is going to annoy a lot of people. I don't care. I really don't because you want to talk about morals and that. Well, again, the morals in the Bible ain't really good morals, are they? So I don't care. Say what I want. As this channel it, as this channel's always been, I speak truth. Say it how it is, don't like it, I don't care. Or tell somebody that cares. There we go with the all seeing eye again, with the devil horns. Now again we all know that sixty nine, if we reverse it the opposite direction, it means six six. There we go with the devil horns again. Again, and there you go. Nothing but garbage song. All three, all three songs. Uh, nothing but him saying the same thing over and over again, portraying that he's a gangster when he isn't. And there's what said. He even, he even admit he's playing a character. So it says under the threat of jail time, the Brooklyn rapper born. Daniel Hernandez said 6 9 was merely a character he plays. There you go. He's a troll. It's a character. It's not a real, he's not a real gangster. He's not a gangster. It's a character. Again, so many rappers have admitted that that's why the court not. They're not about that life. They're not about that life because there is no gangster lifestyle. Again, where did the word gangster even start with? Where did it start with? The mafia. That's where it started with. And they weren't going around um, promoting, I'm a real gangster, I'm a real G, I'm living the gangster lifestyle. That's where the word gangster came from, and then it was propagated into this nonsense that it is today. Oh, I'm a real, I'm a real gangster, I'm a real fog, I'm a real G, yo. It's trash, man. It's total trash. If you honestly think there is so, such a thing called the real G life, you're deceived. The rap industry is not a culture, I've said that before, and I don't care who gets offended by that, I really don't. It's an agenda. It's not a culture, it's an agenda. Simple as that, it's an agenda. It's an agenda to deceive people, to make them think, oh, I'm a real G, I'm a real G, I'm going to go join a gang and end up in prison for the rest of my life. Ask the people that are in prison if they regret the decision that they made. A lot of them do. Because they fell for the I'm a real gangster lifestyle. And then they regret it. Because there is no G lifestyle. It doesn't exist. It's a myth. All the people that promote that the real gangster lifestyle have all sold their soul to get what they have in the first place. They've sold the soul. That's why they have what they have. And all the all that they have can be taken away from their manager at any time. They step out of line and don't promote the agenda that their manager wants. All that will be gone. That's the contract that they sign. That's the contract that they sign. Basically, the manager has the, all the rights to take everything that they own if they don't finish the contract. Simple as that. Once you sign that contract, you say, what is selling your soul? Selling your life. It's what selling your soul means, selling your life away. Becoming a puppet, becoming a part of the problem, becoming a part of the agenda that the Illuminati want. What is the agendas of the Illuminati? Sexualize women, promote that women are nothing but a sexual object. Basically, women are inferior. That they're not equal with men. That that's another thing that the Bible also promotes. But that's gonna honestly, this video is gonna annoy a lot of a lot of people. But let it annoy people because it's the truth. It's the truth. 
facts that uh, it's the complete truth i as it says what i promote is truth above emotion spiritual truth speaking pure facts so again right here Six nine admits that he's not a real gangster. The the image that he portrays online, a bit like most of these rappers, like Jeezy, Eminem, they're all fake. It's a character. Why do you think Eminem had um another character called Slim Shady? Because he's a he's he's playing a it's a game. It's mind games. There is no real G lifestyle. I never fell for it. I saw right through it. See, I woke up, I used to listen to rap. I used to listen to it a lot, a lot, a light rap music. A lot of it. I used to listen to people like 50 Cent, Eminem, um, Future, Rick Ross, and all that. I used to look, Ace Hood. I used to listen to a lot of rappers. But I woke up and realized, and wait, I woke up and realized, wait a minute, every single rapper is just promoting the same nonsense. They're all promoting money, drugs, women, cars, and I'm a real G. It was all the same thing. Every single rapper is the same. It's just a, it's the same crap over and over again. They sell you this story. They create a character and send them to prison or act like they've been to prison because in society, like, that means something today. Oh, you've been to prison? You're a real G, you are, man. It's a joke. It's a real joke. That's what the rappers promote. Oh, I've been to prison a certain amount of times. I'm proud of it. You're proud of, be, of being in prison on multiple times, destroying your own life, and becoming, falling for the agenda, and you're proud of it. Wow. It's laughable. It really is laughable. See, rap music. See, rap music probably in the 80s and that wasn't like it is now. Now it's just nothing but agendas. Nothing but trash. It's not... It's not real music anymore. It's not real music. It's the same trash over and over again. Rap years and years ago used to have a point, used to have a meaning. Now, it's just nonsense. It's all lost sex, cars, because they've all sold out. They're part of the problem. They're deceiving you. They are part of the problem. That's what they are. They are, they are part of the problem. And it's as simple as that. And you're buying into this nonsense. You are buying into this crap. This is great. These characters like 6 9 are created to deceive you and make you think that there's a such thing as a real G lifestyle. That's what it is. G E G E Z admitted that he that rap is just entertainment in one of his new songs he admitted it what is entertainment a show it's a show that's what it is the rap industry is just nothing but a show that's exactly what it is why do you think like i said this is why they promote the nonsense like oh um i went to prison i used to be in a gang and all this because soon as someone promotes that, oh, the, this guy's a real gangster, this guy's a real G. Again, 6 9 was, mo is, was most likely an informant for the CIA and the FBI, and again, everybody buyed it. Everyone buyed it. Really, what he was is a Illuminati sellout. That's what he is. Let's be real now. He sold his soul. Sold his soul. For fame and fortune. That's what it is. And he's part of promoting agendas. And there you go. Over sexualization over and over again. It's all part of the, part of the agenda. To over sexualize women. 
and because every single rapper does it they they promote that all women are sexual objects and all that it's a joke it's nonsense and that's why I said I had to bring up the Bible as well because the, that has the same morals that's exactly the same morals says that a woman is a sexual object that, that men and women are equal that's what it teaches because it's nothing but trash that's what it is and if you're mad about that and offended by that, good see, I, I ain't asleep I'm not asleep, I'm awake I'm awake to the truth I ain't part of no religion. So there we, uh, again, people, people like people. Most people like this start with Tupac and that. That this means anti-Illuminati. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean anti-Illuminati at all. It really doesn't. It honestly, doesn't. There you go.